Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let's see. What other... Let's see. What, I don't know if there's any other stuff that... Because I know there's a bunch of uh, questions out there. Someone was asking you about a, a an AR9 build, and I, I don't know if... Yeah. You're... I saw it, and somebody asked about a uh, a lower for an AR9 build. Yeah. Um, I I don't even know. Like you're getting into so many small nuances mm -hmm. there that I I can't actually say which one I would particularly choose. Mm -hmm. I would say that there are probably some features on certain ones that you should look at. Mm -hmm. Um. Are you talking about last round bolt hold open? Yeah, look for look for, look for particular things that you mm -hmm. that you find important mm -hmm. when you're shopping for a lower. If you're trying to build your gun, uh, look for something. Look for particular features that you that you find important. Mm -hmm. If it needs to be a forged lower, do a forge. Find you can separate it out there. If it, mm -hmm. if you want an if you want to have an integral char, uh, trigger guard, for instance. Mm -hmm. Probably have to go away from forged. Yeah. What about side right. charging? I don't know where you where you come down on side charging. I, I actually I actually love side charging okay. uppers uh, mm -hmm. because I kind of play both hats with the with the with the AR and then the AK. Mm -hmm. You know, um, however, and this is gonna make a whole lot of people mad, or it, no, it, it's, it's people are gonna lose their mind over this. Uh -oh. I I want it to be reciprocating. Okay, why? Why do you want it so to be I, reciprocating? So I can kick the shut when it stops running. Okay. Yes. Because I'm going to run that gun and never clean it mm -hmm. until it absolutely... I And once it stops running, I'm going to continue to shoot it mm -hmm. by spraying, spraying lube in the thing and just kind of flushing the crap out of it until mm -hmm. it is so seized shut that mm -hmm. I have to literally take it and drop it in the ultrasonic cleaner to mm -hmm. be able to get it open to actually scrub on it. Mm-hmm. That's how I'm going to shoot that gun, and I want, uh, and particularly, particularly, pistol caliber carbines, mm -hmm. because pistol ammunition is almost always dirtier, mm -hmm. especially when we're talking about high round count ammo. So if you're going to go get blasting ammo, it's almost always going to be dirtier than your rifle ammo, mm -hmm. especially because the guns are almost always direct blowbacks. They're going to eat a lot of. Mm -hmm. So it's steel case. A steel case, yeah. or if it's um, just lower quality ammunition, mm -hmm. lower quality powder. Um, For the sake which, of my thumbs, I don't like what you said. I'll just say that. But yeah. dude, move it out of the way. <laughs> okay, I know. It's like okay, well, okay. <laughs> let me let me let me put an analogy there. Right, right. Okay, it's a very simple analogy. Uh -huh. do, do you do any cooking? Uh, I'm not really allowed that much, but I do a little bit. Yeah. Okay, when you do cook. Uh huh. Do you test the burner with your hand? <laughs> no. No. Right. Don't put don't put your hand where the thing runs. Right. Right. Okay. It's it's, it's got its space. Don't right. violate its space. Mm -hmm. Do you test when every time you take your knife out to cut something? Do you do you take it out and like, hey, we're gonna see how sharp this thing is? No. You no. Go, of course oh. not. Of course not. No. Yeah. No. You. Yeah. Yeah. You respect it, and that's right. the biggest problem. Everybody thinks that they're toys, and they just. Mm -hmm. They don't respect the yeah, space. Yeah, you have to figure out what you're shooting. That's for sure. Yeah. Or you'll figure it out. I mean, if it's... Oh, like, it'll teach you. Yeah. So, if it's reciprocating, um, you'll find out. So every time... Do you get hacked off at your handgun every time you shoot it? It has a reciprocating charging handle on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless you shoot a revolver, it has a reciprocating charging handle. Right. Yeah. Because the slide reciprocates. Mm-hmm. Just like if you're shooting a high-caliber cal revolver, you don't put your thumb up there right by the... Mm -hmm. the uh, yeah, uh, the port because if you're shooting like a 44 mag or 454 casula, yeah. literally take a mass off of your thumb and redistribute it forward to the muzzle. Yeah, yeah. You respect that gun. Well, mm -hmm. the same thing happens with a pistol caliber carbine. I think it's much more useful, and that was actually my big beef with the Strybog, mm -hmm. is they they it was originally reciprocating and then they deleted that feature mm -hmm. and they because all the Americans are being about their widow bums getting back. <laughs> I knew this was coming. Yeah, so they took my reciprocating charging handle off the son of the first one I the first one I shot. Uh, it was a was an import 
They mm-hmm. came into the country, and I was like, I love this thing. It's got a reciprocating charging handle. They're like, ah, we're actually getting rid of that. I was like, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. And yeah. they're like, why? Everybody wants the re- the non-reciprocating charging yeah, handle. You sound like, like Walter. Walter agrees with you. He said they were making those things fine in the beginning. They were, yeah. And they, they went off on a tangent. But, yeah, I guess it was because of uh, little stuff like that, I guess, that some of us come up with. No, I want to be able to – I want to – I'll have that charging handle – and I want to be able to put the, the mm-hmm. I want to take the gun with the can on the end of it, mm-hmm. put it on the ground, and be able to take my boot and kick the son of. Mm-hmm. So what do you think is the best? I mean, obviously that question was about building your own uh, AR pattern, a uh, pistol caliber carbine. What do you think is the best pistol caliber carbine out there, though? Um, I'm gonna actually have a series coming out that we just filmed with CMMG mm-hmm. uh, a few this past week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really, really like their radio delayed blowback system. Okay. And it's not, and I've got a lot of trigger time on it. When the Banshee was announced, I was one of the first people in the country to get them. And I got to play along with the R and D process of going w- along with that design. And it allows the reciprocating mass to be dialed down so much that, um, you get a lighter gun. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to, you can add the mass back in and the gun shoots even softer. Okay. So that's what a lot of people don't realize. They're like, oh, well, you know, this gun feels like it shoots ex- sort of the same. And it's like, yeah, like there's a there's a difference, but you can, you can sense the difference between a direct blowback and the delayed blowback gun. Mm-hmm. But then you can also say, well, I'm going to put an H buffer in the son of a and now it doesn't recoil at all. Mm-hmm. So okay. it, they've basically taken some weight out of the bolt. Mm-hmm. And taking some weight out of the buffer, but you can just drop a heavier buffer in the thing, and it basically has no recoil whatsoever. I really like it, mm-hmm. and in my field, it suppresses really well. So wait, that's the Banshee? Well, actually... No, because the Banshee is the AK one, right? No, no. The, no. the 7.62? No. No, no they have... Something here. That's the, that's the Mutant. Oh, um, Mutant. Mutant. Banshee... So, so actually, they, there's, a, there's a split. Okay. So I would say... I, I kind of lumped them all together. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of lumped them all together, but actually, if you're going for suppression mm-hmm. on that gun, you want their guard, which is the longer barrel one. Okay. Because you don't get nearly as much port pop out of a longer barrel. Okay. Uh, if you're going, like, trying to be maximum quiet. Okay. Um, if you want pointability, then you want to shorten that barrel. You want to make the compromise basically to shorten the barrel and make the gun more handy okay. then you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to take up some more of that port pop some more of the performance gets lost on the suppressors because you're literally breathing fire into the suppressor okay right so like barrel length does actually matter um like it's it's a it's a it's a moving target. It's not a static target, if you want to say. So if you do this thing over here, then it might move a little bit this way, and you have to kind of like track it down. Mm-hmm. But generally speaking, the radio delay blowback system from CMMG mm-hmm. is, is, in my opinion, probably as good as we're going to get as far as a viable host for all of those things mm-hmm. kind of rolled into one package. Okay. And I see it in the... I see it in the comments already somebody says cmmg lower alone is four to five hundred bucks i'm like you get what you pay for man okay and that's a so what we're talking about here is an ar pattern type of Mm -hmm. deal right okay yeah okay yeah the biggest thing that made me mad about Mm -hmm. that gun Mm -hmm. because i have something there's always something about every gun i'm going to tell you Mm -hmm. right now there's always about something that i can pick about every single gun okay um actually hang on a second um okay sorry there was a i was making sure that somebody that that wasn't oh. i mentioned this person earlier and oh. i'm making sure that they weren't like you you know oh. like you know. um right okay so i had time to clean it up uh, what okay. were we talking about what was i talking about we were talking about the guard i think or you're saying that's your best uh pistol caliber carbine that's out there oh. universally so, yeah so there's always so I can find something on every gun that I don't like, mm-hmm. and what I disliked about the Guard or the Banshee series is that it uses Glock magazines. It's an okay. inferior magazine. Mm-hmm. We it should have come out with a real magazine. 
Uh, that's also, I think that's also guys like like me, that's my fault, right? Or guys like me that are always like, oh, does it use Glock magazines? You know what? Over time, I've come to the conclusion that we, we shouldn't even chase that. No. I really have. I've come to that. Like, why are we even doing it? There's better magazines out there that are easier to build things for, more reliable, all of that. In, in, yes. in that, Glock magazine, very reliable in a Glock. Yes. You know, so. The, the, the biggest problem with the Glock magazine is it goes from mm -hmm. two to one. It is not a, it's a semi-automatic pistol magazine. Mm -hmm. It is not a submachine gun magazine. Mm -hmm. The Colt, the Colt magazine is far superior. Yeah. The CC magazine is far superior. Mm -hmm. The, uh, give me another one. Um, help me. Um, the Scorpion? This, well, that's what you just said. Scorpion. Yeah, it's CZ magazine. Um. There was another one. Uh, MP5 magazine. MP, yeah. Far, far superior. Yeah. Uh, because they're a true double stack magazine. Mm -hmm. And I always love it when I see people who have that long fun stick magazine for the Glock, right? Mm -hmm. And they're getting down to the bottom and they're always bitching about how they can't get the <laughs> last two rounds into the thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm standing over there with my Colt magazine. I take the mag I take the round and I put it on top of the thing and I smack it against the wall. Mm -hmm. And I take the next one and I smack it against the wall. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can actually load the magazine mm -hmm. uh, to capacity. And then also, because of the fact that it is a true double stack magazine, mm -hmm. you get true true double stack performance. Yeah. By the way, uh, Mr. Guns and Gear, I was just looking at his video and I threw it up there. He says the Banshees are the jam. Oh, so there you go. Mr. Guns and Gear is here. I see yeah, him. Yeah, he's out there. Shout Hi, out to Mike. Hi, Mike. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.